Hello. This is uh, how I would do bifrontal craniectomy. I would put uh, paracentral burr holes on just anterior to the coronal suture on either side of the midline. I would uh, also put a burr hole on the keyhole that is just under the most anterior aspect of the temporalis muscle just above the lateral end of the superior orbital ridge. In terms of uh, the cuts, I'll first of all make a cut from here to there and here to there and then I'll cut across here. Then I'll finally make the cut across the these two burr holes. What I will do usually is just uh, drill the uh, skull between these burr holes uh, to make a trench then use the up cut across it. You can use the craniotome, craniotome across it after trying to separate the dura from the bone Usually it's fine, but it's always nice to be safe. Um, in the earlier days, I have put burr hole in the midline. Once again, usually it's fine, but if you're using a perforator, sometimes the perforator can misfire and you can injure the dura. You can use a handheld drill to make a burr hole over the sagittal sinus. It does take a bit more time, particularly in a decompressive craniectomy for head injury, you want to be quite quick. So it's probably safer to just put um, burr holes on either side of the midline, just anterior to the mid, anterior to the coronal suture. That's safe practice. The reason I would put the burr holes just in front of the coronal suture is that um, you'll miss going through the coronal suture itself if you put it if you put the burr hole back you'll have to cross the coronal suture which is fine but if you just avoid the suture because they are the areas where the dura is most adherent to the bone uh, it will just make your life much easier. Obviously when you are making this cut you want to make sure this cut is above the frontal sinus. You have to check the CT scan to see how big the frontal sinus is. In some people the frontal sinus can extend quite high. When you are coming this way you will find that just near the midline with the craniotom you can't proceed further that's because um, in the midline there is a bony keel above the frontal sinus that uh, makes it not possible for the foot plate to proceed further so that's why you come and hit there so what you do is you go back here and then come with the craniotome you have the same problem there then you take the foot plate and with the B1 um, you will just thin the bone here and then when you raise it, you can break it. You can also use a small chisel to knock it off if you want to, but just be careful. Um, so in terms of uh, bifrontal, this is how I will do it. If uh, I'm doing a bifrontal temporal craniectomy, then I will probably put the burr holes just behind the coronal suture then then I can just come this way and then I can just connect it up. The 
usually most of the time you are fine just doing bifrontal decompressive craniectomy for head injury but if there is temporal contusion then you can make a bifront when there's a temporal contusion as well then you can make a bifrontal temporal craniectomy this decompresses the temporal uh, fossa uh, and relieves pressure of the swollen uh, temporal lobes on the midbrain you don't uh, other point is you don't really want to go too back with your craniectomy because further down there you have got your uh, precentral sulcus your motor cortex area and you know after the decompressive craniectomy the brain is going to herniate and cut on the uh, bone edges and you want to avoid that happening to the areas near the motor cortex so it's okay to put the bow holes in front of the coronal suture maybe just behind if you're doing the bifrontal temporal craniectomy but I don't I don't know I wouldn't advise you to go too further back so so these are the uh, points that I could uh, make uh, this is how I do the decompressive craniectomy but obviously there are many ways of doing it uh, just uh, if you are a resident just do how your boss says then when you become a consultant you can you would have seen different ways of doing it and then you can decide which one is the way that you are going to do it thank you very much and wishing you a good day bye for now